Have you been sending out smart plans and you wish that when those smart plans were responded to, that you would be able to stop that smart plan automatically? Well, guess what? Your wish has come true. And we're going to talk about that today. So let's go. You need that extra edge. Gain that leverage you need with my top tier tech solutions today. We do lead gen, transaction management, client retention, and database management. Fill out this little form here below and you can get started today for a free consultation by visiting brenbrewer.kw.com slash technology services or you can scan the QR code on your screen as well. I'm looking forward to partnering with you. Hey everybody, I'm your favorite technology trainer, Bren Brewer. And today we're going to talk about the auto remove trigger inside of a smart plans. It's an update that just went out and I can't wait to show it to you. So when you are in your smart plans that you have created, so let me pull one that's one of mine. And actually I got this from my friend Brandon wrote this for me. Shout out to Brandon Lara. All right. He is at Market Center 10 and he wrote this and I grabbed it from the library and it's a Facebook lead follow up. And what it is, is it's trying to get these people to contact you or to respond to you over the ad that you sent, right? What is so awesome about the new update is there are automatic add or remove rules. So you can add a contact when it, when you have a trigger tag. So if you want someone to be added to the smart plan by a tag on their contact record, this is the portion that you would use. This is not the update. The update is a contact is removed from the smart plan when the contact replies to an email from this smart plan or when a contact replies to an automated text from this smart plan. So you could do one of these options or you could do both. So I'm going to select both because if I'm running a Facebook ad and this person follows up, the same communication for the rest of this smart plan is not going to apply. I either need to step up my game and, and engage in that conversation with this, that person or I need to add them to a different smart plan. So when they respond to this, they are going to be removed from this smart plan. So I'm going to click on save plan because I've updated it and now you can see my plan is saved. Now when you're creating your own smart plan, let's just call this a testing. So that is there automatically as well. So this is going to be here every time you create a new smart plan. Okay, so you'll be able to auto add and remove those rules. So when they reply to an email or a text, you can check that off and they will be removed from the smart plan. Now you don't want to do that for monthly neighborhood nurtures or birthday smart plans. You want them to remain on those smart plans. And that's it. Short sweet and to the point update this week. Let me know in the comments below. What are you using this feature for on your smart plans?